Hi, this is Daniela Burgless. Because heat rises, an attic space is one of the areas in a home that contains a fair amount of insulation. If the insulating wool becomes wet in places, this may be caused by poor ventilation of the attic space. To learn more about the importance of properly ventilating an attic, I'm talking to Pierre Beaupré, an engineer at the Centre d'inspection et d'expertise en bâtiment du Québec. Pierre Beaupré, thank you very much for being with us today. Yes, it's a pleasure. Can you start by explaining why it's important to have proper ventilation in an attic? Yeah, first of all, it's important to know what uh, what is the problem and that can be caused by uh, a problem with uh, bad ventilation. To create condensation, you need to have two things, a difference of temperature and a presence of humidity. In a standard house, uh, house uh, like that, the one that I just draw, uh, you got uh, an inside temperature that it is about 20 degrees Celsius. In the attic, the temperature is about 5 degrees Celsius. And outside, on the winter time, you get a minus 20 degrees uh, Celsius temperature. So here, you get a minus, uh, you get a 25 degrees of difference between the inside of the attic and the outside. The use of the house, for example, the, uh, the people that took shower, make laundry, uh, cooking, uh, generate humidity and heat that is going up into the attic okay that uh, that uh, humidity will make condensation at the uh, uh, inner face of the uh, of the of the plywood uh, that makes the structure of the the roof if you get uh, for example if you took a shower and uh, on, on winter time, uh, your glass will become uh, foggy. Uh, the same phenomenon uh, is produced in your attic. So the humidity will condense on the plywood and make some ice. When that ice melts, when the temperature outside is rising, you get some water infiltration that can go on, that can appear at the uh, at, on the roof. And uh, you get also the uh, mo uh, the humidity and the moisture uh, could uh, create some molds in, uh, on the uh, on the attic. So that's why it is very important to have the ventilation. The ventilation uh, at the bottom you will have some soffit, and uh, at the top you will have uh, a vent. Uh, a vent. Uh, normally uh, there is a. Uh, a lot of type of vent. You got some uh, s small one. You got the bigger one. You uh, also called the uh, maximum ventilator maximum, and you also got the turbine the turbine ones. What it does is the the air comes from the the soffit and carry with him the uh, the humidity and the heat and evacuated. That has been evacuated by the the vent at the upper side of the roof so now you you don't have the two condition to produce condensation that is uh, humidity and difference of temperature because your heat is evacuated and also your humidity is ev evacuated so there is no more condensation and no problem and how do you know if the attic is well ventilated if the attic is not well ventilated, you will have some. Uh, you can have some uh, water infiltration problem. Uh, you also uh, will see if you go in the attic, you will see some black uh, spot that is mold uh, that will form on the plywood. Uh, from the outside, you can see uh, if you you got some uh, your, your soffit if the soffit are perforated. Uh, if you got the uh, the vent on the upper uh, the upper part of the roof. Uh, from the inside, you will see if your uh, your insulation is in contact with your structure. So, if if the if the uh, the insulation touch the uh, the uh, the plywood, your the hair will not infiltrate in, into the attic. So that's basically what you need to check. And if the attic is not properly ventilated, what can you do to correct the problem? You can add uh, ventilation. You can add uh, some uh, uh, some materials to compress the uh, the insulation uh, on the attic to to uh, 
increase the, the flow of air that will infiltrate into the haddock. And uh, you can also uh, try to uh, minimize the amount of uh, humidity that is produced by the, uh, the, 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 the people living in the house to get in the, uh, the, the roof by uh, sealing properly your vapor barrier and all the, there, there's a lot of things that you can do. And are there any standards that need to be respected in terms of ventilation of the attic? Yeah, there is a lot of standard uh, depending of the size of the house, where is the house is located and which material is used in the house, the, the type of uh, and the configuration of the roof, uh, there is some standard. Uh, the the best way is to contact an expert that will be able to suggest the the best uh, configuration possible uh, for uh, for to correct the uh, the problem if it is. Pierre Beaupré, thank you very much for all of this information. No problem. Finally, it's important to properly ventilate an attic space in order to evacuate the heat and humidity that does escape from the property. Many problems will be avoided and the condition of the home's roof will be improved. This is Daniela Burgless and I'll see you again next time.